Hello friends, I am Cliffhanger, you are on my channel. And today I will tell you about a movie, in which a father and daughter are on their way to dance camp, when they spot the girl's best friend on the side of the road. When they stop to offer the friend a ride, their good intentions soon result in terrible consequences. Sit back, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and be sure to watch to the end. We will have something to discuss in the comments. A girl named Kyla has a difficult family situation. Her mother Rebecca, who works as a lawyer, and her father, a musician named Jay, are divorced. Rebecca brings her daughter to Jay so that he can take her to a ballet school retreat, where the girl does not want to go at all. On the way to the camp, Kyla asks her father to stop the car because she notices her friend, Brittany, who was also supposed to go to the camp, but her father refused to drive her. Jay does not mind picking up the girl, but on the way she starts flirting with him, which causes dislike from Kyla. Kyla also points out the bruise on her friend's face, but she quickly diverts the subject. Soon, Brittany asks to go to the toilet and Jay stops the car in the middle of nowhere. Kyle and Brittany leave towards the woods and don't come back. When Jay goes looking, he hears a loud scream and soon finds his daughter on the bridge. But Brittany is nowhere to be found. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're just, you're just joking around! Kyla says that Britney fell off the bridge, and Jay runs to the river but finds no Britney, but only her back. Jay then runs to the car to call 911, but his daughter stops him and confesses that she pushed Britney for acting like a bitch. Jay has no choice but to turn the car around and drive back to the city. When a man arrives at his ex-wife's office, intending to tell what happened, she begins to blame him for not taking his daughter to the camp. Kyla, meanwhile, is getting sick because she lost her inhaler, so she is driven home where she herself confesses to her mother what happened to Brittany. The woman is in complete shock and does not understand why Jay just left the scene of the crime, because she, as a lawyer, understands that the judge will definitely put Kyla for premeditated murder. But Jay says that he knows Kyla, and it must have been an accident. In the morning, Kyla wakes up in a great mood and invites her mother to cook breakfast together. And Rebecca notices that her daughter is perfectly fine and does not even feel remorse. The same is noticed by the arrived Jay. How could she act so normal? She's in shock. How do you expect her to act? Soon, the ex spouses start fighting over what to do next. And Kyla, hearing this, runs out of the house wanting to tell everyone about what she did. And when her parents drag her into the garage, she again screams that she deliberately pushed her friend. Jay loses control and pushes his daughter, causing her to fall and drive away. And along the way, the man, unable to contain himself, cries. Meanwhile, Britney's father, Sam, visits Rebecca. He tells Rebecca that Brittany didn't make it to camp and asks if she has any information. The woman replies that she does not know anything, because her daughter also did not go, due to the fact that she does not feel well. Sam sadly reveals that Brittany didn't want to go, but he forced her by sending her to the camp on a bus. The only consolation for the man, the fact that the girl had run away from home before. Maybe this time everything will work out too. Before leaving, Sam asks Rebecca so he can talk to Kyla, but the woman lies that her daughter is at the doctor's. Then he asks her to call when Kyla returns. Rebecca hangs close the door, also breaks down and cries. The woman does not know how to answer Sam's calls, but then she decides to give her daughter's phone so that she can lie that she does not know where Brittany is and that she herself did not go to the camp due to illness. To which Kyla replies. You call him right now. No. When Jay arrives, Rebecca tells him that Sam came and he is looking for Brittany and that he told her that he had a fight with her shortly before. Rebecca is also worried that she thinks Kyla wants to turn herself into the police. Then, Jay decides to put his daughter in a hotel, 
so that she can recover there and not pose a danger. But the family does not have time to leave, because on the street they come across Sam, who asks if Kyla has returned. Rebecca again lies that her daughter is still at the doctor, after which Jay leaves the house, who, according to Rebecca, was with her daughter at the doctor. And then, Kyla herself. Feeling well. Why are you guys covering up for these girls? What'd they do? Parents have nothing to say, but they do not let Sam near their daughter. Then Sam hits Jay in the face and promises to go to the police. At home, Jay remembers that Britney had a bruise on her face and hints to Rebecca that if Sam beat his daughter, then this might be a reason to suspect him of something more serious. Jay persuades Rebecca to tell her friend, the detective, about this assumption, and the woman tells the detective everything, of course, withholding some important details. At home, Jay, while talking to Kyla, notices cuts on her arms, and she admits that she has always missed the attention of the boys at school, which Brittany always received. Their conversation is interrupted by Rebecca, who has returned with the detective, and Kyla lies that the last time she saw Brittany was two days ago, and she had a bruise on her face, and then cries and says that Brittany said that her father constantly beats her. As the detective leaves, Jay asks his daughter if it's true that Sam beat Brittany. Of course, this is not true. Kyla asks her father to stay with them that night, and when Jay is about to go to bed, Rebecca tells him that their daughter cuts on her arms are due to their divorce. In the morning, the police are already waiting for Sam outside his house with questions about his daughter. The man says she has run away from home before, but denies ever hitting her. At the same time, Jay and Kyla go to his house so he can change, but his girlfriend and band are already waiting for him because they have a rehearsal today. Jay's girlfriend scolds him for forgetting rehearsal and shows him Britney's bag she found in his car. The man says it's his daughter bag and rudely says to return it, after which he finds Britney's broken phone there. When he leaves the room, he is told that his daughter has gone somewhere. Detectives meet Rebecca near work and say that none of Sam's neighbors confirms that he was cruel to his daughter, and they also add that Brittany lost her phone, which was recently turned on in the area where Jay lives. The woman says that she does not understand what they are talking about, because a lot of people live in this area. Meanwhile, on the street Sam meets Kyla and asks where his daughter is. The girl apologizes to him, but when he gets angry, she gets scared and runs home, locking herself up and listening to Britney's father knock on the door. Jay and Rebecca meet at home and fight over Britney's phone, causing their daughter to become hysterical, because she's the one to blame. Meanwhile, the detectives arrive at the stop where Britney was supposed to go to the camp, and inspect the area and in the morning they come to Kyle's parents and ask if the girl squirreled, after which they show a printed conversation according to which Brittany recently stole the guy from Kyla, and she promised to kill her. At the end of the conversation, the detective asks Jay if he passed the bridge area on the morning of the girl's disappearance, and when he denies that he was there, the detective shows Kyla's personalized inhaler, which she had lost earlier. The canine unit searching the river right now. It's only a matter of time until they find her. Kala's parents again have nothing to say, and they simply ask the police to leave. And then Rebecca tells her husband that now they will all be in prison. At night, the ex spouses put their daughter to bed, and then drive to Sam's house, and Jay bury Britney's bag and phone in his yard while Rebecca waits by the car. Suddenly, Sam appears next to her and again demands to know where his daughter is. Jay runs up and attacks Sam, a fight starts and Jay nearly drowns the man in the river. Sam catches his breath and says he knows their daughter killed Brittany. The ex-spouses run off in their car, but soon Sam appears in their way and Rebecca deliberately hits him. Jay runs out of the car and at first wants to call an ambulance, but realizing the situation, he changes his mind and just watches as Sam slowly dies. In the morning, Rebecca asks her ex-husband to stay and they go to bed together. Later, they go to the garage and wash the car of Sam's blood. 
And that's when Britney walks into the garage. Seeing their faces, she thinks they already aware of her little prank with Kyla. It turns out that Britney just wanted to be with her boyfriend for a few days, and Kyla agreed to play along with her. Britney asks if her father knows, but when she notices the bloody Rex, frightened she goes home. The parents go to Kyla and silently look at her. Realizing that the deception was revealed, she tearfully says that it was all Britney's idea and that she wanted to tell everything, but she realized that all this brings her divorced parents together, so she kept silent. As a result, she apologizes to her parents and they hug her, but at that moment the doorbell rings, and police sirens are already heard in the distance, but the family does not stop hugging. Well, this was unexpected, I guess. Um, Tell me what you think about this uh, movie in the comment section. It would be really interesting to read this. Uh, personally, for me, it was it was really unexpected. I didn't expect uh, <laughs> she's still alive. But well, yeah. Uh, thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. See you soon.